Hi everyone, welcome to another Schoolscape online webinar. The aim of these webinars is to help you as you take your school online. So today we're privileged, we've got Angela from My Cyber War uh, in studio and online with us. Hello Angela, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you Peter. Brilliant. Um, so I think Angela, we're going to just jump in with the first question. Uh, the way you said hello came across as a pommy accent. I hope that doesn't sound rude. Um, I just want to check. Uh, we're going to be talking about my cyber wall and your experience. I just want to make sure that this is uh, a South African product. Is that correct? It definitely is. It's mycyberwall.co.za and you are right about the Pommy accent. I imported that a few decades ago. So I'm very much a South African now and uh, my South African product. So don't be, don't be worried that it's worried. some uh, imported um, platform that's not. Okay, fantastic. Um, well, Angela, it's great to have you on the show. Um, uh, and I think first question. Um, We've got a whole pile of teachers out there that are now teaching from home. They know they're going to have to go back to the classroom. Uh, what are some of the challenges that these teachers are facing? Well, I think they know that as much as you and I do. But I think the number one challenge is what we've just experienced before we went live was the uh, technology working. Um, so well, our internet. Oh, yeah, not working. Um, so our internet connection actually isn't working and I'm hot spotting off my phone. So I think, yeah, the technology challenge is very, very real. Um, obviously, teachers as well have, I mean, when the lockdown happened, there was really no, no notice at all. And we had no idea really that it's going to be or even much longer. So it was really a scramble to get everything ready. So I think from a teacher's perspective, first of all, um, is to, first of all, they've got to find um, resources to be able to be put online. And then they've got to be digitized very, very quickly, which is a massive challenge. So, I mean, that in itself is extremely stressful and time consuming for teachers own young children uh, they might be also having to school their own kids too or I think you have three kids Peter I don't yeah, quite I know how you're managing with that that's, uh, that's a lot of work so yeah all of those things as we know it's a very time consuming and something very new for the teachers and the technology doesn't always work so yeah those are the challenges that I think they're having I'm sure there's plenty more yeah I know thank you for that Angela and, uh, I have to admit having three kids I respect my teacher so much more looking after three junior school children is quite hectic. Um, just a thing for the live viewers at the moment, on the right of your screen is mm -hmm. chat functionality. Uh, so thank you for all of those hellos. We really appreciate it. We love it when people say hello. Uh, on your right is also a questions tab. So if you have any specific questions uh, that you would like to ask, we ask that you please pop them in there and we will address them at the end of the webinar. But uh, Angela, back to you. We, we've spoken about the issue. We've spoken about digitizing content. We've spoken about data. How does my cyber war support remote learning and how do you solve this problem? And I would also just like to say one of the reasons we're excited to chat to you is our partner company, essentially our sister company, School Advisor. Last year, you were the number one rated company across the platform. So I know you have a solution that works. So how can you solve this problem for schools? Thanks, Peter. Well, the yeah, the rating was um, done by teachers that use us, so um, it was really what they, the feedback that we got and the star ratings that the teachers who use us um, gave us. So yeah, we have to thank them for that. Um, let me just turn my sound off because I have emails coming in. There we go. Turned it off. Sorry. Um, yeah. So what does our solution do? Okay. So first of all, my cyber wall. I do see some of our clients there. Hello clients, hello everybody, is quite a low tech solution. So it's really easy to use for learners and for teachers. Um, it's a very affordable solution where you have all the resources in one place. So we have all the subjects from grade four to seven. 
um, the core subjects that is in one platform and it's very accessible. So from the teacher's perspective, they can also assign work to learners and the learners just log into their account and there's no emailing back and forward. There's no stress actually. It takes 30 seconds to do an assignment, to set an assignment. The kids complete the assignment, press submit, and then most of the exercises will auto mark. So um, the teacher's got minimal intervention there. And then also from the parents' point of view, they also don't have to micromanage their kids while they're working online. So it makes it much less easier and you know stressful for the parents as well. I don't know what what kind of makes you unique. I think there's quite a few things there that already stood out to me. What makes your offering unique? Um, sorry, can you not hear me? Peter, I can't hear you at all. Sorry. Let me just check if my audio is gone. Uh, You're mute. Okay, I don't know whether please. to talk or uh, are you trying to check? Mic? Nothing there. Let me just. Uh, let me. Oh. Just... <laughs> okay, so these are some of the technological challenges then that uh, obviously that people face. So I am not hearing Peter. I don't know if anybody else is hearing Peter. At all. Peter's gone. Okay. Right. So as Peter, we can hear you both. Okay. My sound is okay. not off. I My am, sound is on. I, I am not. back on. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We seem to have a. Um, uh, I think what has happened is Angela might have turned her sound off. Oh, Lynn, Lynn, thanks. thanks. Lynn's one of our clients. Hello, Lynn. I can, you can hear, but I can't hear what Peter's saying. So I don't know whether just to continue. Peter, sign language comes in now. We, we need like a, a government interpreter here to do a bit of sign language in the back. Mines, I have not touched anything. No, all not touched anything. All right, we've got someone. <laughs> okay. Beth has kindly said she would uh, answer my question. So, first question: uh, What what makes you unique, Angela? Uh, I need to come off and come on because my sound's gone. I don't know how. Okay, I can't hear Peter. <laughs> Okay, Peter, talk. My sound is oh, okay. It was because I tried to mute my emails. I'm sorry, uh, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Welcome to. Uh, I'm sure teachers have similar experiences and spend half an hour working. What's going on? So don't worry. Oh, sorry. I was so sad that my emails coming and I turned you uh, off. But okay. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, let's, <laughs> Should we for anyone that was viewing, yourself? that would be a good clip to cut and make go viral. Um, <laughs> so, Maureen, thank you for saying that was fun. Uh, I won't lie, I'm sweating a bit, but we got back there. Um, okay, uh, Angela, let's jump straight back in. Uh, you've mentioned uh, content okay. and grades. What content do you cover? What grades do you cover? Yes. Okay, so the grades are grade four to seven. I'm going to quickly, shall I try and dare and uh, yeah. sh share my screen? I'm just going to show you the interface now. So let's just hope nothing goes wrong. It should be very easy. Enable screen sharing. I'm going to just quickly show you the interface here. So here's the interface of my cyber wall. And we've got the uh, four grades. I'm not going to do a full demo now, obviously. And okay, here's you, all the different you subjects. You have your so, screen yet, Angela. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. Now? There we go. We've got it. Can you Thank see you. my screen now? Okay. Hallelujah. This is not like Zoom or Google Meet. I can tell you this is a totally different platform. But anyway, I think we're we're shared now. Okay. So you can see we've got grade four to seven and we have all the core subjects. 
and you navigate on the left bar here. So everything is in one place. It's very, very simple to use. And what we do have is we do have not just exercises or worksheets, but we have content as well. So we've got, um, actually it's all aligned to the caps, so it's over and above the caps. So you can see that's one of the content pages there, but you can open up each section um, so it's really everything that you need. There's also lots of additional resources. Here's all the worksheets and activities as well, so you can open them up. Here's a drag and drop, which is like a matching exercise, etc. Um, and everything on the site is both printable, um, so you can download and print if you want to work offline, or if you want to work online, you can obviously um, yeah, do the answers online. So this is like a drag and drop exercise where they're, they're building a map. So I'm gonna stop sharing and we can talk um, again. Angela, on that, um, uh, you've shared right. the, the content. Um, uh, yeah. Does it, if a teacher is using your product or service, do they need to use any other yeah. content or is literally everything they need mm -hmm. found within this? That's a good question. Well, we do recommend that schools still get readers because we don't cover in the language, everything in the language on CAPS, um, but all the other subjects we do. So we do suggest readers as well. Um, one of the other things I didn't say to you is that we have a responsive design, so you can use it on any screen size, so it adapts, it will shrink or expand to fit the screen. Um, what else? And the other thing is teachers also can copy and paste all our content. So we don't have digital rights management um, like an ebook would have. So they can copy and paste the pictures, they can use our pictures, they can use our maps, etc., to make their own worksheets if they want to. But we also have a functionality called an exercise builder where they can create their own activities using our templates. So we've got um, 11 different templates, everything from there was a drag and drop you saw there, crosswords, word searches, hidden answers, multiple choice, short text, paragraph text, etc. So we have a huge variety of exercise templates and we would train the teachers how to build their own exercises. That's fantastic. And Angela, so this, um, and it's something I didn't even think of asking, but it makes a lot of sense to ask. So what they are using, they can also use when school goes back. So it helps for them now for re remote teaching, but oh, this yeah. is actually also built for the classroom. So if mm -hmm. a new school signs up, they're getting that benefit over the long run. I mean, obviously, we were not designed for lockdown learning, um, although we've adapted very quickly to that. But yes, definitely, um, the way that it's used in the classroom, it depends on what sort of membership the school has. So the teachers normally would obviously use it on their screen and their smart board. They can print, they can copy and paste, they can build their own worksheets and activities, etc. They can assign work to learners if the learners have accounts and the learners can complete the work in the classroom or at home and then the marks are, are automatically gathered for most of the exercises. The exercises that are manually marked can also be done on the system. So they don't need to leave the site. There's no emailing. You don't need to print. Um, so they can view the learner's answers to the manually marked, like a text exercise, like an essay or a paragraph, etc. And they'll insert the marks with feedback to the learners on, from their own account. So they don't need to leave so, their account um, at all. The other thing that sorry, I think, uh, Keith sorry, just asked Peter. a question on that. How do you send the questions to the pupils so that it self marks? It's not sent. It's online, so I can just quickly share the screen. So the questions are there. We don't. You don't need to send them at all. It's all there. It's all on one platform. Um, so everything is already there. You, there's no sending back and forward. Everything is is already there. So, so yeah. Um, the one thing I wanted to say is that um, you said, can it be used on its own? Absolutely, but we've got a lot of clients, obviously we've got a lot of school clients who would use us with other platforms. So um, you can use our resources oh, wow. with Google Classroom, um, with Microsoft Teams, et cetera, in a different way though. So you would be using yes. like the PDFs to attach and share basically with your learners um, on one of those platforms. But if you don't have those platforms, you don't really need them at all because everything, um, you know, my cyber wall has the complete solution for showing the marks, um, sharing the work with the learners, and it has all the content as well. Um, 
on that question, uh, how do, what is the response from your learners for, so uh, the teachers, they're using it, what is the experience of the students themselves? Well, the students really love using my cyber wall. They sort of don't think they're learning. Uh, they're working online. I mean, we wouldn't encourage them to use it eight hours a day. Obviously, we, we would encourage a more blended learning approach. Um, there's lots of exercises on my cyber wall that can be done off the site where they have to print and draw. Um, but generally, you know, I, mean, I think another problem that parents might be having is they don't have access to printers or ink, etc. So you don't really need any of that with my cyber wall, but you can obviously print things if you didn't have um, an internet connection at home. You can also use data with my cyber wall. Data is really cheap. We're actually going to be making an application to try and wow. get zero rating um, on the site. I don't know if we're going to be successful, but it's something we're working on now. But the learner's reaction, 100% positive. They absolutely love it. It's a very colorful interface. It's lots of fun. Um, and they're getting instant feedback when they're doing their exercises, whether it's Afrikaans or geography, they're getting their marks immediately and they can see what their marks are. So they do enjoy that. Uh, Angela, just a question. Um, and I think this is very relevant because I think teachers spend hours preparing for a class. How does this actually help a teacher with preparation? Well, it obviously minimizes their preparation. I think if teachers want to go on to the School Advisor website and see what teachers do uh, write in their comments about my cyber war, I think the biggest thing is it's time saving. Uh, I think one of the comments, it, it should be saving you about 80% wow. of your prep time because everything is there, your worksheets are there. You've also got videos and links, you've got other resources there. So it's a complete solution. So it should be saving you hours of work okay. if you're using it in the way you know that it's okay. meant to be used. Um, yeah. All right, so we're getting starting to get some questions coming through on pricing. So the million dollar question, okay. Hopefully not a million dollars. Uh, what is <laughs> be nice for you? Um, what is pricing? How does a license uh, agreement work? Is it for a teacher? Is it for a school? If you could just explain that. We do school and classroom licenses. Uh, we don't do individual teacher licenses. Um, the the main thing that's actually obviously selling really fast now, well, apart from individuals that are signing up for homeschooling as well, um, that's obviously gone absolutely crazy in the last month. But for schools, um, really the best option right now is your school license where every user has a login. That's the learners and the educators then can log in. And our prices, I mean, it depends on numbers. We have a sliding scale, but it works out roughly about 25 rand a user a month. And for that, they get access to all the subjects and all the grades. So it's very flexible um, and the learner can work at their own pace as well. And they can move around between grades if, if they want to. So it's plus minus 25 rand. We're doing a special at the moment um, in lockdown. We're doing short term, we're doing some short term reduced pricing and we're doing specials between now and the end of the year as well. So we've got quite a lot of really good okay. deals. On. Brilliant, thank you. Uh, what we'll also do is share your contact details at the end, so if anyone wants more info, uh, they can go grab those. Cool. Uh, big question, and I think this is relevant. If a school sits there and they're going, wow, this is amazing, I can see how valuable it will be now for uh, kind of remote learning uh, during lockdown, but also how it will be valuable when my school goes back. How is it to get a school up and running? Is this a long process or quick? How does it work? Oh, no, it can literally be done in a day. Well, we say 24 hours to 48 hours turnaround, but I mean, it wouldn't really be that long. So we send the school a Excel template and they just copy and paste the names of their users on there. It all has drop downs. It's all been coded. We send it back to us. And as long as that data has been inputted correctly, we check it all, press a button and we issue the login. So we generally do it in you know, in a 24 hour turnaround, it's very quick and it's wow. very easy. Okay, so if a school is interested, they can get up and going. Um, we just picked up from our side that yeah. teachers are first having the challenge of remote learning, uh, which is a whole new ball game for them. And on top of that, they're now having to duplicate work, etc. So I think this actually makes quite a, quite a big impact on them now and they can take it back into their classroom. Um, it's another question that's come through. It says, are the subjects available in other languages as well or are the subjects only in English? 
it is only in English, I'm afraid. It is, uh, you know, obviously it's a challenge um, that we do come across. We have tried a, the, one of the Google extensions um, on the site. In fact, we've even tried it in Isikosa. Uh, I'm not a Isikosa speaker or an Afrikaans speaker, but it will translate the whole site into that particular language. How good that translation is, I'm, I, I wouldn't like to say I don't know, So, but we have tried it and we have done it and it, it looks okay, but uh, as I say, it's, it's not my first language that so I wouldn't like to say, but unfortunately it's only available in English okay, at this stage. Great. Um, I think this is a great question that's come in from Megan. Uh, it's a two-part question. Um, are there videos as well? And can you demo interface another activity so that we can see a higher level, more challenging activity? I think people want to get an inside view. So if you wouldn't mind, Angela, sharing your screen and also just answering the video. I can. Uh, the video question, okay, so with the videos, for example, we have, if you have a look here, there is, let me, let me just share, sorry, uh, actions, uh, and there was screen sharing, sorry, this is different to Zoom, you have to wait for something to come up, so just give me a second, if you, the wheel is turning. I think also what we would like to do after this, if you know, if, if people have got specific questions, we can give you an online demo. We do obviously do all our meetings now on Zoom or Google Meet, instead of doing that demos and presentations to schools. We will also let schools have a login for 24 to 48 hours to, um, my wheels just turning and turning, by the way, it's not letting okay. me share um, my screen. It's, yeah, it's just turning, turning. I can't actually click on the share, but. Let me just, I'll just keep it on and we'll see. So we can do a full demo to schools and we can give you access so you can have a play around. So in terms of the videos, we do have links to, uh, I think we've got between the links, the web activities and the videos, about 12,000 um, offline third party sites that we've linked to, uh, mainly YouTube, but there's also learning games, which are the web activities as well. So. They are, they're not our own videos, but they're ones that we've sourced from all over the world. Um, Angela, a question that's come in, and uh, because of that Pommy accent, uh, do you have Afrikaans, the Afrikaans curriculum as in, uh, if you're in English school teaching Afrikaans? Yes, we have a first edition. All the listening. Uh, I think I've got a problem here. Okay. Uh, um, I think I'm uh, back on. Sorry, my screen's not sharing. The wheel's just turning and turning. I think yeah. can you just close okay. it. Uh, try it again. Um, okay. While we'll you to... are enable she's screen sharing. Okay. Yeah, um, the... Angela. While that's opening, a uh, qu question from mm -hmm. high school yet. What grades do you cover? It's only grade four to grade seven, senior primary. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. No, my screen, um, yeah, yeah. It's just the wheel is just turning on my friend. So, you know, it's I'm just spotting on my phone. So, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, that's fine. Um, Angela, just to continue the questions, mm -hmm. uh, Jenny asks, um, do you have Afrikaans first language? No, Afrikaans first additional, not home. First edition. Yeah. yeah. Okay, brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's been quite a few questions around individual teachers buying it, but I think you've explained that with you need uh, essentially a license um, for the school to do it. Yeah, um, so they can buy what's called a classroom license for the teachers. So if you don't want your users, your learners to have licenses, uh, we do a minimum of eight to ten um, users on a classroom license. But obviously, you don't have the full functionality with the auto marking, etc., on that. But we do have options for that. Okay, brilliant. Um, and then, Angela, how, how does it work um, in, a, in a normal school environment? So lockdown is finished, mm -hmm. a teacher now wants to use the functionality. Will they use it with an interactive whiteboard or a screen? Do they print, in, print content? Do 
you could just explain that process. Yes, they can do all of those things, Peter. And, you know, we're not prescriptive of, you know, what teachers do. They can use it how they want to. Some just show videos, some print everything. So we have some very nice visual summaries. Some print those and laminate them. Um, but yeah, it's really designed to be shared on the smart board or the data projector. Um, but also, as I said, you can copy and paste. You can use all the pictures. We've got tens of thousands of pictures and illustrations that we've hand drawn um, that can be used as well. So all of those resources the teachers can use in the way that they see best. It's very flexible. Fantastic. And Angela, I think we, we're coming to the end of the questions. If anyone has any other questions, please pop them through. Uh, just on assignments, mm -hmm. um, could you just explain um, how a teacher would set up an assignment or a test? Um, just run through that process and how I'm it just, helps. This. Sorry, I can't yeah, share my screen. I'm just going to try and do it because it's a 30 second process. So you go to the exercise that you want to assign and you literally put in the date, the class you want to assign it to. You can give them more than one attempt and you also can weight the questions so and everything else is pre-populated and then you press um, uh, create assignment and that's it it's done so the learner then gets notified little bell rings in the corner of their screen um, and that's it it's literally a 30 second process to assign work and then the learner can go into their calendar um, or they can see their notification pop up so they know which assignment they've got to complete that day or how many assignments they just click into their calendar. So they're using the calendar mainly. Yeah, fantastic. My screen's not sharing at all, so I'm going to. Sorry, my apologies. What we'll do is we'll provide the details, and I'm sure um, Angela would happily do a demo for anyone that is interested. Um, thank you to Amy, who just said, uh, my cyber war covers Hi, English, home language, yeah. mathematics, natural sciences and technology, social sciences, geography and history, EMS, grade seven, life skills, life orientation, first additional languages, Afrikaans, IC Zulu, yeah. Zulu and IC Court. Um, so that is what covers I think with that. There's a lot of questions about Afrikaans there. So I think it's worth trying that Google Chrome extension. If you want to demo, you want to log in, um, we can tell you how to put that Google Chrome extension on. And you can then, you literally press that, everything goes into Afrikaans. And you can see if you think that's acceptable. Brilliant. Mm. Um, Angela, we're going we're gonna to flip on to two last questions just from my side. Mm -hmm. um, as an experienced company that essentially has been helping a lot of parents and teachers with digital uh, learning, uh, the remote learning is not new to you. Do you have any tips or just anything that could help the teachers and schools that are listening just to help them be more effective in this lockdown period when it comes to them being at home and their learners being in homes? Yeah, well, I mean, the first thing I'm going to say is that if you had a if your school had a license to my cyber wall, it's going to be a lot, lot easier, a lot less stressful, and a lot less time consuming. You don't have all this technology drama. We are obviously an internet-based website, but we are very light on data. We think that about a gig a month, um, and you know, data is very cheap at the moment, is probably enough so yeah getting a license to, to my cyber wall would be would be brilliant and your and your parents will love it as well um, but I think also I mean just from a practical point of view I think everything's changed so fast and we've changed the way that we've had to do things so we've had to digitize um, training is now on YouTube videos so we used to have a lot of face-to-face -face interaction with the schools which we can't do anymore um, so yeah we've had to change things very quickly and I think you know we're all learning through this process so we will get better and better as things go you know as time goes on I think also teachers should you know not worry too much about um, trying to do everything, be everything to everyone all the time. There's lots of things kids can be going at home, whether it's baking a cake or, you know, planting something in the garden and learning all those important life skills as well as, you know, the actual academic learning. Brilliant. The good news is we'll most probably crack it and then schools will go back to normal schools, but uh, teachers are there exactly. for a whole new experience. Um, our time has come to an end, Angela. Just if someone wants um, more info from you, I am going to post your details here, but how should they contact you? 
Well, if they drop us an email, then we can arrange a login and we can arrange a demo. As I say, we're doing all our training now over Zoom and Google and we do meetings um, so we can do a proper demo. Plus, we can give you a login to have a better look and see if it suits, you know, suits the needs of your school um, and your learners. So, yeah. That's brilliant. So you're willing to allow people a demo period just so they can check it out. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. For the schools out there, I'd recommend if this is of interest, give it a try, see if it works, and then um, at least you know. Angela, okay. thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate thank you, Angela, it. everybody for tuning in for, for your time. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, for all of our viewers out there, thank you so much for dialing in with us today. If you are looking for more videos, uh, we have a pile more you can check out from using Zoom and Microsoft and Google. We've done stuff on visualizers. We've also done one on um, how do you earn SACE points uh, from these webinars. So by just viewing this as a teacher, you can earn 20 CPB points. So if you view our full view of other webinars, uh, one of them is on SACE and you can check that out. They explain how you can load your points. But thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in today and viewing. Uh, Angela, once again, thank you so much. Cheers, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you.